today we're gonna to find out what is inside of a $600 high-end kind of the Amazon custom return liquidation mystery box. So this one actually cost me $600. Total mystery, I have no idea what's in this thing. Usually the more expensive price point like liquidation mystery boxes didn't have higher price point items in them. A lot of times these higher end mystery boxes turn into electronic kind of mystery boxes. But we're gonna do this today. We're gonna to crack it open. It cost me 600 bucks. My goal is to hopefully double my money. Hopefully get $1,200 back. That would be fantastic. Spend six, get back 12. Fantastic. That's my goal. Double my money. Let's see what's in this. I love these more high-end mystery boxes. You know, the more they cost, the more possibilities of Amazon customer return liquidation goodness could be in these things. Here we go. Next one. What is in here? Top. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey. It's looking good already. It's looking really good. Give you a sneak peek what I'm seeing right there. On top, I see AirPod Pros, Xbox Elite controllers, um, expensive headphones for gaming stuff. I see a Garmin watch. I think we're going to be A-OK -okay with this box. I'm already seeing crazy value right there on top. Here we go. First item, I'll pull them out. AirPod Pros in the box. And let's see if they're in there. There's the case. Even if the AirPods are missing, the case by itself goes for 45 bucks. And they're both in there. AirPod Pros, both of them with the case in the original box. These sell on my eBay store. I've been selling these things for $125 all day long. First item, 125 bucks, AirPod Pros, like new condition. Nice. Here we go, next item, what we have? Oh, oh, <laughs> took it out. We have Powerbeats Pro. Some more wireless earbuds, and they're both there. Powerbeats Pros, nice. I know I, I have these listed on my eBay store. There'll be a direct link down below in the description box of this video to my eBay store. Make sure you check it out. Right now, there's over 1,400 items available for sale right now that you can purchase. Actually, almost 1,500 items available for sale. So anyway, so I sold these recently on eBay. I sold them for Powerbeats Pro, $68. I sold them for 68 bucks. Not too bad. First two items right there. I'm pushing at 200 bucks the first two items. I'm pushing $200 already. That's not too bad. Let's keep going. What's next? Nice. Fitbit Charge 5. These higher end Amazon mystery boxes, they have higher end stuff in them. Pretty much the more, oh, that's still factory sealed too. Let's keep it sealed up. <laughs> Usually the more you spend on liquidations for these type of liquidations, the better stuff you get in them. So this is a steel blue platinum stainless steel colored watch. Actually eBay prices 110, 100, 108. That's the white one, black one, white one. There's all different colored watches. So anyway, no, here's one that's over 120. So this sold February 6th, so I'd probably ask 120 with best offer, and I'd probably take an offer like 100 bucks for it. You know, if somebody I offered me like 100 bucks for it, I'd probably take it. Let's see, what else we got? What's next? Oh, that's, oh, I've had this before. This is not cheap. This is compatible for the PlayStation. This is the whole kit. It's like, yeah, an amp, a40TR Mix Amp Pro. It's got like the headphones, like a mix amp. It's for like extreme gamers that want like the best setup possible. I've sold this before. I've had this thing I think like maybe twice ever. And last time I had it, it was not cheap. Make sure it's actually in the box. So yeah, we do have a pretty nice PlayStation. I guess this is like Probably good for PS4 and PS5, I bet, too, right? 
Yes, it is. This is good for PS4, PS5, the Mac, and PC. So yeah, this is made even for the newest PlayStation 5 system. Nice. It's in there. There it is. You got the preamp and the headphones. Condition-wise, it's like new condition. That is like new condition. Very nice. This will go for pretty good money. There's all the cords and everything for it. Nice. I'm look this thing up on eBay, see how much this thing goes for now. Okay, in the past 30 days, actually, let's do like the past week. Actual sold price for open box item, like new condition, 110, 150, 130, 110, 115, 130, 120. What's the average? Like what? 120? 30-ish or so is the average price. I'm, I'm looking possibly around 130 average. That's fantastic. Good item right there. <laughs> what is this? Oh, the Google Wi-Fi entire home system. I've already got a few of these listed for sale on eBay. I think I've sold one with like maybe one or two more currently for sale. Let me see what the last one sold for. Okay, so I've sold a total of Two of these on eBay. I'm actually sold out right now. First one, I got 90 plus shipping on January 4th. The second one, I sold on January 31st for 95 plus shipping. I think I had like best offer, like like 100 best offer. And each time, if the offer was close to it, I took it. So once again, I'll be asking $100 or best offer for this item. So right now we're looking at like what? 200, 300, 400, maybe like what? 450 right here? Already, actually, well, plus this, we're probably pushing like what 500 bucks right now. We've almost the box is almost paid for, we're so close. Let's see, we have oh, nice a magic mouse for your Mac computer. It's a, it, it is used, it is used. It's missing the back, it looks like, unless if it's in there. I think it's missing the back of it. That might hurt value now a little bit. Might be able to get a, a replacement backing for it, possibly. In this condition with like the back missing, maybe 10 bucks for that. So that's not very expensive. Not very much. Here we go, next item. We got a Google Nest thermostat. I actually had this pulled up with the, um, with the other Google item. The Nest thermostat, I've sold this thing several times. I sold it February 7th for 50, January 17th for 50, January 13th for 50. Generate nine for 50, 50 bucks right here for the Google Nest thermostat. This thing sells very, very quickly. Still has the film on it too. And I have never had one returned yet. They've always worked. 50 bucks for that item right there. Here we go, next. Corsair Virtuoso RGB wireless, compatible with uh, PC and PlayStation 4. Is this a good brand, Cosir? I don't know much about this brand. Oh, those look nice. Uh, looks like maybe, maybe worn, tried out once or twice. I think I see like, not usage, but just like a little bit of fuzz on them. But those are very, very uh, lightly, lightly used. So on eBay, this sells pre-owned condition for like 95, 100, 99. If it was new, it's like 150 to 170. Looks like used eBay, about a hundred bucks for this. So another fantastic item with very good value. I love these like more expensive boxes. You get some good stuff in them. Okay, next we have nice, a Garmin watch with some kind of like soap on or something. This box is going to need a deep cleaning disinfectant. The box is actually kind of trashed. It might actually be better just to sell the watch like out of the box than have it in, in this box. The box has some kind of weird... Oh, that's awesome. The watch still has the uh, the factory film on the face. The box got like, some kind of like sticky, soapy stuff on the outside of the box. The inside though is bone dry and it's actually brand new watch. I mean, look quickly see how much things sells for. 
this would probably be sold without the box. Okay, if this box was brand new, it'd be like $175 if, if the box wasn't kind of nasty. But without the box, sold as used condition, they're like 100 bucks. Without the box in used condition, this watch is actually new. Just the box is kind of nasty. So anyway, that's a good 100 bucks right there for this Garmin. Another fantastic item. This little, it's a little gross. Oh, this box opened up on me. We have an Xbox Elite Series 2. I actually, I think we just listed one of these on eBay. Oh, that's nice. It is in there. Got the accessories for it. Oh, this one came. I was a little holder. Accessories for it. So this last one I sold for $75 plus shipping. Another fantastic item. Let's see. Oh, we got something that looks like it came out of the case. Oh, some Samsung earbuds. These are the Buds Plus. These sell for around $45 all day long. The Buds are in there. These actually sound very, very good. So if you're wanting a cheaper priced, I always say this every time I get these out, you want a cheaper priced earbuds, look into buying, purchasing the Buds Plus by Samsung. They're actually fantastic for the price. $45 more. Let's see. Next. Oh, I think this, this came out of the uh, the Buds. Put that into the Buds. There we go. Next, we have a Apple Pencil. So we had an Apple AirPods. Now we've got an Apple Pencil. Is there anything else? Apple or is that it? Just two things Apple. We have a... Make sure it's in there. Yep, there it is. Apple Pencil. Okay, this is the Apple Pencil second generation Apple Pencil. It's like on eBay, pre owned condition for the Apple Generation 2, 80, 82, 70, 90, 70, 76. So probably 80 bucks best offer on eBay. Fantastic item once again. Here we go. What's next? Oh, nice. Nest indoor camera. We just sold this on eBay. I think we're actually waiting for payment still. Yeah, we just sold this on eBay, waiting for the person to actually pay for it. Sold it for $85. Fantastic item once again. Killer item. There it is. Apple, what's the thing called? Apple Nest Indoor Camera. $85. Our actual price sold it for. Here we go. Last item in the box. We have Beats Studio 3. Nice. One of my past previous boxes, we got some Beat Studios, and they were the all black ones. Looks like these are the red ones. Super nice carrying case, hard case for them. There they are, Beat Studio 3, and they are in fantastic condition. Those are like new condition. Let me see what other ones sold for. Small update to the Beat Studio 3s. I'm editing the video right now, so I'm cutting this in. The actual headphones themselves are counterfeit. The box, the inserts were authentic. So somebody returned a fake pair of Beat Studios in an authentic box back to Amazon. That is one of the not very common anymore, but it used to be a common like customer scam where they switched out items. So break it down. Somebody bought a fake pair. The same person bought a real pair. They kept the real pair. They put the fake pair in the authentic box, sent it back to Amazon. So whenever you pull it out, the like the box is legit. It's right. It feels right. But um, yeah, whenever we went to actually test them out and I started feeling them more and everything, I was like, man, these, these don't feel right. Whenever you turn them on, it makes this weird like startup sound, which beats do not make. So counterfeit. So this item is worth nothing. It happens. Always be careful with Amazon liquidations. You can get counterfeits sometimes. Know what to look for. Be careful selling because you don't want to sell counterfeit items on eBay. You can get suspended. Okay, so the Beat Studio 3s, the, like the all black ones, I sold them on February 8th, just a matter of like almost days ago, it seems like. Sold them on eBay for $80 plus shipping. Already been sold. So the red ones will probably be around the same price. $80 plus shipping for the red ones. So that's everything. My goal 
was to double up. This box cost me 600. My goal was to get $1,200 back. Did I get the 1,200? I think it's gonna be close. I think I'm, I might have gotten there. I think, it's, I think it's gonna be close. Very close, but if I had to be a guessing man, a gambling man, I'd say I probably got the 1,200 from just the, the stuff in front of me right here, the crazy value I got. Good stuff, I mean, we got PS5 stuff, Xbox stuff, Google, Apple, Samsung, Garmin, Beats. I mean, this is all name brand, nice stuff. So I this actually turned into a pure electronics high-end mystery box once again. I figured it was going to, and it did. So this was a lot of fun. All these items will be for sale in my eBay store. So if you want to buy any of this stuff or 1,500 other items, eBay store, drop link down below, check it out. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Go down there right now, hit that subscribe button. I upload this channel every single day. I have not missed any uploads in over three and a half years. So if you want to see daily free content, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you again tomorrow.